are back at Pomerel. Uh, what an amazing week. So it's Saturday. We were here last Saturday and we had an amazing time. They had so much fresh powder and we did a little night skiing, put the RV in storage in Twin Falls, drove all the way out to McCall and Tamarack, ski Tamarack, ski Brundage. Then yesterday we left after we skied in uh, at Brendage for the day, it was nice. We had almost bluebird day. We drove back to Twin Falls, picked up Momo, stayed at a campground last night, got a tight 20 minutes of sleep, I feel like. And we woke up early, got everyone in the truck nice and early, and we are here for it to open. And then we're finally meeting Victor in Ogden, and we're gonna take him skiing. He skied before, but only once or twice it wasn't like the best uh experience for him so we're hoping that he's gonna love it this time so let's go hit pomero for our last uh last uh, little ski resort in idaho try and hold on to your hands in the garden the smile of a child swimming in the river walking the last sweet mile first crack of thunder the heavenly rain, all oh, that gets taken. <laughs> okay, so this is our first Airbnb in the Ogden area. We have three different uh, Airbnbs we're staying at, and every night's going to be a five star dinner. So tonight we're having a little bit of wild caught rockfish. We're having healthy nachos basically with guac and chips and Orange rice. orange rice, we call it orange rice, but Mexican rice, Spanish rice, whatever you want to call it, black beans. This is all homemade from scratch. Well, I didn't cook, I didn't go out and like catch the rockfish, but pretty close. So for the guac and the sour cream? No, I went and like milked the cow for the sour cream. Anyways, this is, this is an amazing meal. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. This is meal one. I'm going to show you each meal. Simultaneously, I'm already have an instant pot and a crock pot going for tomorrow's dinner. That's, you know, to eat really good, you have to be thinking ahead all the time. I can't wait to share with you. I discovered that Powder Basin is also one of my favorite resorts. Powder Basin, Powder Mountain, some of my favorite resorts. Oh my gosh, there's so many powder stashes after the last storm here. But what I really wanted to say, what I really wanted to say is that, other than the fact that my hair is frozen again, um, in our amazing powder day that you can't really tell um, on this video, but it's snowing right now. And how amazing is it that, have you ever seen snow where it comes down in perfect snowflakes like the it's most like beautiful set. snowflakes i've ever seen it's so pretty insane and it's also insane this is a perfect example of sacred geometry like do you ever wonder at how incredible it is that rain falls out of the sky and freezes into these perfect crystalline forms and then they're always perfectly symmetrical and they look like an artist intricately designed each one of the snowflakes it's it's amazing. Look at a snowflake landed in my eye. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty and my hair is frozen. <laughs>
Ah. Look at you all sexy there. It's like a freaking calendar picture. Okay, so tonight, day two in our Airbnb, we are making one of our new favorite Brazilian dishes, feijada. I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's how we say it. So you start off with getting some white rice, and then over here, we have all this pork. So I start off with two different instant pots or a crock pot. We have in one crock pot, you put all your black beans and a huge rack of ribs and just leave it for pretty much 24 hours. In another crock pot, you slow cook some pork loin with tomato and onions and garlic. And then you combine them and you get this amazing, we added a little beef broth. Okay, you get that. Then we took some beef sausage. You can use chorizo, any sausage really works, but you need the difference in taste. Sometimes we even take a roast and shred up a roast to add to it also. Then you top it with this, this stuff is really what makes it so good. So you have roasted almond flour. Then you add, you start with bacon and um, onions and garlic and bell peppers. And then you bring in the roasted uh, almond flour and you mix it all up and then you top it like that. And then sprinkle it with parsley. Bam, dinner served. Powder Mountain. Yesterday we came here and it was so fogged in and it's like your first time at a new resort and it's fogged in. It's kind of creepy because you're just like, okay, I trust. I trust that there's going to be a run in front of me and you can't really see and again, you just have to trust and go and it was, it was pretty crazy at first, but then eventually you kind of can see more than 10 feet in front of you and you figure out the map and the trails and anyways powder mountain is rad it's like almost as good as whitefish and that's saying a lot because i love seeing whitefish but there's so many diversity of uh, areas and terrain and um lifts so you can kind of like i'm not ADD, but i like to pretend i'm able to ski different areas so that was really cool and now it was freezing though it was so cold yesterday so sun's out guns are not out bringing Victor along for his first season. Are you excited? Are you excited? Excited, huh? This is... I feel like fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> so, let's see how this goes. We might be filing after today. Okay, so, it's probably, Victor's probably really appreciating that I didn't have the camera on for the first five minutes, but I think he's got the hang of it. Hopefully. I remember the first time Victor and I went skiing. He did like a goofy roll, you know, like from the cartoon Goofy, where like he takes his skis and does like a full 360. Victor did that. I was like, wow, I didn't think that that was possible. I thought that was only in cartoons. And so when we started right now, I'm like, Victor, you're athletic. You've got this. It's going to be so easy. He's like, yeah, that's what my friend said to me the very first time I went skiing. And I was in jeans. And so, I really, really do believe by the end of this day, he will have this and we will have an adventure sport to do together. I, I believe it. I think we might have it. I think we have a skier. It's so awesome. We have something to do together. Anyways, I can't tell you guys enough. I think I've told you enough, but I'm going to tell you that 10 more times. I absolutely love Powder Mountain. This is like one of my favorite places. It's just so fun. And you know, it's midweek on a Wednesday. There's hardly anyone here. And now that I can see the views, I love it even more. Ten words to describe Powder Mountain. Snowy. You've got fluffy, funky, hilly. 
you got rolling, happy, you got like hunting me, like it's hunting after you on those mountains, like you, it's like hunting for you wanting it. It's um, it's uh, it's needy. It's very needy. It's, it's like, it's like ah. Transcendental. That's not a real word. Just ten words. It's divinaire time. Expressive. Popcorn. Popcorn. Happy, joyful, full of life. Very cloudy, very misty, very out there. Is that ten? I think that's ten.